hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of z if we have z divided by z plus z is equals to 2 times of z and we solve this problem for all the values of z so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in first method you see that uh, the base of this term is z plus z so uh, we know that when we add two variable two same variable terms then we just add the coefficients of these two terms and you see here the coefficients of these two terms are one and when we add these two terms it will becomes here 2 times of z is equals to this is also 2 times of z and further we move these two times of z to the right hand side and you see here this is divided by left hand side and when we will move to the uh, right hand side it is multiplied by 2z so when we move this in the right hand side it will becomes uh, z is equals to this is 2 times of z multiplied by 2 times of z uh, and uh, now here in the next step we have this is z is equals to this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and z times z becomes here z square so further because our target is to find the values of z so that's why we move the z to the right hand side and it will be written as 4 times of z square this is positive z when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative z and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here both of these terms involve z so that we will take common z from here and uh, after taking common z we get the remaining values are here we get 4 times of z minus here we get minus 1 is equals to 0 and so that now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write z is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 4z minus 1 is equals to 0. So uh, this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get the second root. Uh, so you see here 4z is equals to this is minus 1 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 1 and uh, here we divide both of the sides by 4 and you see here this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here z is equals to 1 divided by 4. So this is the second root of the given equation so here we get two roots of the given equation from first method uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root so verification of these roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is z divided by z plus z is equals to two times of z so this is the our given question statement and in this side we will be verified that z is equals to 0 so here first we verify this value and now uh, when we substitute this value on both of the sides of this equation it will be written as this is 0 divided by 0 plus 0 is equals to 2 times of 0 and you see here 0 divided by 0 is equals to 0 over 0 form and 2 times of 0 becomes here 0 so uh, this is 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form uh, so if this is the indeterminate uh, form uh, then in other words we just say that it is undefined so if uh, the left hand side is undefined uh, then this means that uh, the value of uh, z is equals to 0 is not satisfied over a given question statement uh, so we conclude about uh, the value of z is equals to 0 is that z is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so here we conclude about z is equals to 0 be the extraneous root so that now here we verify the second value of z and the second value of z is uh, 1 divided by 4 so when you put this value in, on both of the sides of the given equation uh, our given equation is written as 1 divided by 4 and it is all divided by 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 is equals to 2 times of 1 divided by 4 okay 
so here we need to verify uh, this value of z and uh, further in the next step you see here this is uh, 1 divided by 4 and when we will take common 1 divided by 4 from here we get 1 plus 1 is equals to here we cancel this term this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get 1 divided by 4 so this whole value is cancelled out by this whole value uh, and we get here this is 1 divided by 2 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and from here sorry this is our 1 divided by 2 after cancellation so we get here 1 divided by 2 so this means that the value of z is equals to 1 over 4 is satisfied our given question statement so uh, our final conclusion is that the solution set of the given question statement is z is equals to 1 over 4 because 0 is not satisfied over given question statement so 0 be the extraneous root and 1 over 4 be the solution of the given equation and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to again copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is z divided by z plus z is equals to 2 times of z and further in the next step we uh, in the second method we uh, just uh, find the values of z uh, from direct method and you see here this is z divided by when we add these two terms it will become say 2 times of z equals to this is also 2 times of z and you see here this z is cancelled out by this z and we will obtain here 1 divided by 2 is equals to 2 times of z and you see here in the right hand side this 2 is multiplied by here when we move it into the left hand side it is divided by here and it will becomes 2 multiplied by 2 is equals to z so finally we will get here the value of z is equals to 1 divided by 4 so this is the final value of z equals to 1 divided by 4 uh, and uh, uh, here in the first method we will already verify this value of z and this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos